Well, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. It's IE Tepua Kui, and from the Place to Be Reviews, I'd like to welcome all the new channel members. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you, Mr. Grant Gregory, for gifting the channel memberships. Thank you for being on the show the other night. To all my guests, all my panelists over the last three years, I appreciate you all so much, and the channel's grown beyond what I thought it would, honestly. So thank you, everybody. We're back with another video. Big week of videos this week, and Friday the 13th. More horror news. As you know, I'm leading into the beginning of the year. We'll be launching the horror true crime channel. Yes! You're the man now, dog. That'll be separate. We're working on that in the background. A lot of things happening, wheels turning. Shout out to my editor, Good Stuff Comic Skater, who I've been able to give... Uh, Quite a, few, uh, quite a few videos to work on this week. We are here talking about James Cameron, Avatar, The Way of Water Director. He says, testosterone is a toxin you have to slowly work out of your system. Um, Cuck says what? I, I understood that reference. I, I mean, this is some soy boy shit 101. I mean, this is like Will Wheaton type stuff. Well, there's nothing in it for me to jerk off. So in a wide-ranging article from The Hollywood Reporter spotlighting Cameron and the film, which ironically doesn't get into too many details of the film, Cameron discussed his working relationship with the Walt Disney Company, who was producing and distributing the film after they purchased 20th Century Fox. And with any luck with their financial troubles, they'll be selling off some of those assets to somebody who won't treat uh, their IPs like garbage moving forward. Yup! Cameron noted he hasn't had any big clashes with any of the Disney executives. Maybe it's still a honeymoon phase. I don't know. We'll see. If the movie doesn't make money, then maybe the honeymoon's over. I don't think this movie is going to be very good. I didn't really like the first one. I thought the first one was kind of ridiculous. I, did, I just never did. The only thing I really liked about it was the space military and Stephen Lang. And I'm like, there's no way that these stupid space Smurfs are, are going to be... They, no, it was stupid. It was basically they rehashed Fern Gully uh, more violently and... Nobody wants to see Sam Worthington in anything. You got to see it for the first time recently, I hear. Are you happy? It's, yeah, it's, it, look, it's, uh... The director would then contrast it with his previous interactions with executives at 20th Century Fox from previous films that he now claims that he would not do given his age. A lot of things I did earlier... I wouldn't do a career wise and just risks you take as a wild testosterone poisoned young man. And the fact that this guy is calling testosterone poison speaks volumes about his views. Um, I mean, I don't know if he's a, like a vegan or anything, but I mean, this is just a bitch made comment. I mean, no man downplays testosterone and says it's poison. Uh, if you do that, <laughs> gay! he added. I always think of testosterone as a toxin you have to slowly work out of your system. What a stupid son of a bitch. Testosterone is not a toxin that you need to work out of your system. Instead, as noted by the Mayo Clinic, it plays an important role in the development and maintenance of typical masculine phys physical characteristics, such as muscle mass and strength in the growth, the growth of facial and body hair. Who are you trying to appeal to making statements like this? Like, what sect does this appeal to? Are you looking for, I, I don't, I don't understand like why you would think that, like what I would, I, I hope they go on in this article to maybe expand upon his comments a little bit. I might go back and look at the original article and see, but let's move on. Cameron's idea about testosterone might also be bleeding into the Avatar way of water film. What little Cameron did talk about the film with the Hollywood Reporter revealed, he will seemingly feature an asshole dad. He told the outlet, I thought. I'm going to work out a lot of my stuff artistically that I've gone through as a parent of five kids. The overarching idea is the family is the fortress. It's our greatest weakness and our greatest strength, I thought. I can write the hell out of this. I know what it's like to be the asshole dad. Oh, so he's, he's going to bash men. He'll bash men. The females will end up being the strongest one in this. And like I said, I say that not somebody who has a problem with female characters or women in general. No. I say that as the way it's manipulated in entertainment is done in a misandrist fashion, not in a place of, hey, and, and I always stick to the creed that men and women aren't meant to compete with each other, yet they're meant to complement each other. That is the truth. They're meant, we're, we're made to complement each other. You know, that's the problem with these people who they want to, they see equality as domination 
uh, as retribution for past wrongs, which what does that do? That just creates more animosity in here. I'm getting all philosophical. But no, it's, it's a fact. You cannot deny that. Uh, and these new age ideas that, you know, men have to capitulate now because of the way things were, you know, years and years ago is, is simply not true. Uh, and pretty much no matter what gender you are, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve in life uh, given hard work and obviously you can't be a complete and utter fucking brain dead moron who plays victim all the time and, and relies on that. And I say that for both men and women because we see it at both ends of the spectrum. We see it at both ends of the spectrum. So if you let that kind of ideological nonsense permeate your thoughts, your actions, your way of life, the way you conduct and carry yourself, then this is the, this is the end result. You have people saying that things like testosterone are a poison. Uh, you know, this is supposedly a man. He was man, and, a man. and, you know, just bashing on his own gender for no reason. I mean, you don't generalize. If somebody's acting inappropriately or being a douchebag, a misogynist, you could call them out for that if it's true misogyny. So let's let's not... Uh, you know, misconstrue things or conflate things that aren't true here. The description of the movie contrasts a little bit with what actor Sam Worthington, who plays Jake Sully, had said back in September. Speaking with Reuters, Worthington said, This love story has evolved. We now have a family, and to be honest, me, the movie is about protecting your family. Whether in its immediate family, it works on many levels. It could be a communal family, the family we choose, he elaborated. You choo choo choose me? Cameron previously told the Associated Press that the climate and health of the planet were on his mind while making the film and its sequels. Oh boy, because that's what we need. A movie that Greta Thunberg would be proud of. That'll be entertaining. How dare you! Da, 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 da. He said, what you say? Very much so, even to the extent that I very strongly debated with myself and discussed with my wife whether I should stop filmmaking and work on sustainability issues. He chose poorly. But we managed to be able to do it in parallel with the filmmaking process. We're doing all of our sustainability efforts, I don't want to say as a side hustle, but in a parallel. I put as much effort into that as I do filmmaking. Cameron went on to state. What you say? That said, the new Avatar films aren't any more like a lecture on climate or environmentalism than the first one was. Well, that was pretty much what the first one, the crux of it was, was the environmental impact that the military was having on the planet. And they, you know, Fern Gully. It was, like I said, it was just Fern Gully, packaged as a space adventure movie with creatures that were utterly unlikable. The first one was an adventure. I captured you at the level of character. At a level of storytelling, I think the subtext is a useful way of looking at it. It's there, but it's not what's driving the story. And we kept that in mind with the new films, he elaborated. Eh, I bet you this is a bait and switch. He then revealed, yes, Avatar The Way of Water is about the oceans and our relationship with the oceans. The sea is always right. So there you have it. James Cameron making the statement, the bold... It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That testosterone is a poison that needs to be slowly, you know, worked out of the body in favor of what? What Will Wheaton is? What you say? But honestly, folks, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I think we know where science leads and, you know, where it leans into, you know, the difference between males and, you know, the ineffectual beta males that we see complaining about everything, pretending to be male feminists and getting kicked out of Dartmouth University for sexual abuse allegations. But anyway, that notwithstanding, folks, James Cameron is an idiot. James Cameron's a complete idiot. His statements are asinine. He's just past, past his expiration date as far as, you know, working in film and because nobody really was clamoring for one Avatar sequel, let alone another three or four of them. And especially, what are, what are you going to do? Uh, is this going to be like updated Waterworld now? I mean, 
the premise of this is ridiculous and I barely know anything about it. I'm not watching this. I'm not going to watch this movie. This could pump me up to 100,000 subscribers and I wouldn't touch this movie uh, outside of this video just because of the statements that he made and the things that he said. So, yeah, that's it, guys, gals, everybody else. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think of James Cameron, his idiotic statements about testosterone being poison. And also, are you going to see Avatar The Way of Water? Uh, do you have any anticipation for it at all? I mean, it's opening pretty soon here. Not going to see it. Didn't like the first one outside of Stephen Lang. Subscribe if you haven't yet. If today's the day I've earned it, you know, click the button, ding the bell for notifications, all that fun stuff. And there's options for you to join as a channel member. $2.99, $4.99. If not, just enjoy the free content. It's there. It always will be. I'm E. Temple Kuina, the place to be your views. I've been here with all these. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one. It's better to burn out than to fade away. I could do this all.